and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita and if you're not, hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. And for today, I am doing a video, duh. But I think this might be the beginning of a new series of beauty breakers, beauty busters, beauty ha uh, not hacks, beauty gimmicks. I guess, I think that's what it's gonna be called. I guess the beauty gimmick series. Um, by the way, yes, I did cut my hair. I didn't cut it, but someone else cut it. But like, look how short it is. Like, oh my gosh, it's so freaking crazy. Now, like before we get into the video, I do wanna say that if you do see any videos with long hair, that those are pre-recorded. And yeah, I really wanna to try to get this video out there as quick and as soon as I can. And yeah, so let's go ahead and go into the video. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna need is, you know, obviously, some essentials yes hello if you guys have not tried this it is the best thing it's the rice crispy treat snack crapple poppers and they're chocolatey right here and these are so freaking good and yummy like oh my gosh hashtag not sponsored but you know if y'all want to sponsor me then um <laughs> you can sponsor me second thing is i am using the glam glow gently bubble daily conditioning cleanser i did get this in a boxy charm um box obviously we are gonna need beauty blenders now i am going to be testing out a beauty blender that i just used and it's got like some foundation in it and it's like pretty wet and this one's pretty much like same thing as this but it's dry and it's got like powders on here so we're going to test it out see if it works like if it works better with wet dry powder foundation only i don't know we're going to try it out and the main thing of the show we need our mini lavadora let's go ahead and open this up and see like what's up so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this right here and -na 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 i can't get it out <laughs> ah it's pink so right here is the mini lavadora and right here i have the button where it's like off and on here's the little top this is what the inside looks like and here's the little drainer thing para sacar la agua you go pss. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Chloe looked at me. And then down here, I have to put batteries in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some batteries in, get some agua, and we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Well, open it right now. This is Lonaki, very metiche. Okay, so it does require two AA batteries, and I did get two. <laughs> I literally guessed it. I was like, maybe it needs like three, but nope. It's gonna be two. All right, so let's make sure that it is turned on. So here it is. That is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. We need another one. Look how tiny they are. Okay, I don't know why that's like that, but look how tiny they are. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and open up this. I have some water here. I couldn't find any plastic cups, like really. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I'll put some carbon in here. I haven't even used this on my face, so we're just gonna use this for here. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and use like the the one that's got foundation that I just put on, um, and it's like pretty damp. So let's go ahead and see what happens there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know. I think I'm actually gonna like put you guys put you guys down here. Okay. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, and like. Oh, it's like overflowing. Oh, the thing's not up. Okay, got it. Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna like put this in there. Oh, I think I put too much water in here. Oh gosh, okay. So I'm just gonna close that right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and press the button. Oh my gosh, it's coming out right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the water's coming out right here. So there's like, I accidentally put too much water. That's gonna make a mess. That's cool. So like the beauty blender is not really moving around. Luna, like the metiche is like, what's going on? What's happening? Oh look, it's now starting to turn. I have no idea if it stops by itself or not. Ooh, look. It's starting to get to that phase where it's like hitting really hard. I think it's about to stop. <laughs> That's so cute. Chloe's like so curious what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it now. Dang. Oh my gosh, it's like all 
So I'm going to just squeeze this out right here. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Mm, it's all my foundation. Oh, that's so gross. It's still not pink yet. <laughs> but all my foundation is like, all the foundation color is in here. I'm going to go ahead and drain this out. And I'm going to put it in this bowl right here. Just so you can see that if it came out, like if there's color. So I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to add some soap. And I'm going to go ahead and put it down this time. And let's go. Oh, it's like going in. She's just watching this thing go. Okay, so I see that it's not like going as fast as it was. So I'm going to go ahead and apply apply. I'm going to go ahead and put some more water in here. And then I'm just going to keep going. Like keep adding more water in there. It is slowing down, so I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Because it is a sponge, so it is soaking up in here. Oh my gosh, do you see her? She's trying to get the water. <gasps> no. She almost tipped it over. So you see, it is pumping out water over here. Just for the fact that there is a little bit more water in here. There's like an overflow. What I'm seeing right now... I do see that the beauty blender is turning pink and it is taking away the foundation. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now because I do see pink in here. Here it is. So I am, oh wow, that is so freaking crazy. Do you guys see that right here? That's where like the little washer thing was just like washing on that thing. Like the little spinny thing was washing on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like kind of squeeze it out over here. You guys can see where it is getting clean. So yeah, it did clean this part right here, but it didn't like really clean any other places, but I'm gonna keep going to see like what's up. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out. We're really just kind of like, hello, are you my little helper today? All right, so I put more water. Oh, okay, it's going, it's going. Y'all can see it. Oh my gosh, that thing's like going at it. What's that, Chloe Bear? Do you see her? Let's see where we're at right now. All right, so before squeezing it, I was about to squeeze it, but this is before I squeeze out the product, so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it out. Oh, snap. So this is what it looks like so far right now. Like, yes, there is product coming out, but get this in mind. I have not washed this beauty blender maybe about like two months or so. So let's go ahead and rinse it out with regular water. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this out. Chloe, don't drink it, please. No, don't do it. <laughs> All right, so there is a little bit in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pour a little bit of water in here. Just kind of like... Make sure that there's nothing else in here. Chloe's like watching this. Let's add a little bit more water. Oh snap. Oh! <laughs> there's water everywhere over here. That's why she jumped. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this out. There's like water everywhere here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a paper towel and I'm gonna go ahead and dry this off or just kind of like squeeze out whatever remainder products in here. Oh wow, this looks like Kylie Jenner's towel. I feel like I should have done that. Like I should have like um, dried it with like a paper towel and just kind of like squeezed out the product like this just to see what was going on. So that is my fault, but you can see that it is pink and it did like wash but it didn't take out like all the product or maybe it's just like stained now so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up and we're gonna go ahead and test it out on the powder hey guys I'm back so I do have the dry beauty blender here it does have like um, what's it called powder on it and I have used this for foundation as well so we're just gonna see which one works better if a damp beauty blender does or if a dry beauty blender does. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, making sure I apply a little bit of soap this time. So 
was probably still a lot. Go ahead and add some water in here. And we're gonna see what happens. Actually, I kind of like seeing it open, not gonna lie. All right, so I went ahead and I stopped it. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out the product in here. All right, so this is what it looks like. Now I am gonna go ahead and take a paper towel and just to see like all the product that did get off, cause maybe it'll work better this way than what I was doing. Cause maybe it was like a lot of a hassle. Look at all that foundation, oh my gosh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drain this out. Honestly, would I use this little drainer? No, not really. I'd probably just dump out the water. So you can see that obviously this doesn't have that much foundation in here because I do use it more with powder. Have I used it with foundation? Yes, of course I have, but I really try to like make sure I separate my powders from my foundations. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there, put some more soap on here, get some water in here. And turn it on. Let's go. I'm going to just close it this time. I don't know if you guys can see the soap that's on there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just going to squeeze out whatever is in here. If I can get it. There we go. Chloe's just watching me do this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this facing down. Here's some more soap, just a wee bit more. Here's some water. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another paper towel and I'm just gonna like get the product that's here. Or left in the beauty blender it's kind of like squeeze it out and I'm gonna go ahead and drain this again I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water in here just to rinse it out a bit yes Chloe would you like to tell me what it smells like I'm a scientist I'm gonna go ahead and just dry this out right here and we are going to rinse this so I'm gonna go ahead and put the beauty blender in here put some water gotta make sure that's up here just so we don't spill and we're gonna go ahead and rinse her out I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it over to the other side. What is it, Chloe? I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and dry it. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. As you can see that there's still like a lot of foundation. I mean, there is some pink in here, um, but it's most likely like just stainage going on. All right guys, so in conclusion, as you guys can see, this is the powder beauty blender where it had like more gunk like powder up here. And you can see that yes, it did clean like certain areas, certain parts right here. Um, this one was the dry beauty blender and I didn't know if it would work dry better dry or better wet So I made sure I had one that I used like with this foundation. Hello and One with powder that I had also used as well, but you know one's wet and one isn't So what I noticed is that I did do two different things which compared to the first one I did do like um, I kept putting soap in and then I'd rinse it and then in the second one um, I would also do the same thing, but I would also dry it. So I don't know which technique was better, to be honest, because this one right here is the one where, you know, I just like squeeze everything out and then put more soap in, you know, and then this one was, yes, I'd put more soap in, but I would like dry it. Honestly, it could also be just for the fact that however long I've been using the beauty blender, so this one could have been like, like I could have used this one a bit longer than this one, like a month more than this one. So I'm pretty sure the last time I cleaned this was like two months ago. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And then this one, 
I don't know, it could be the same amount of time, maybe it's just different based off like what I did. So in the first one, it did take off a good amount since, you know, this was already damp and it did have like the foundation in it um, versus this one which had powder. And you know, sometimes when powder gets wet, it does have like a gunk stick to it, I guess you could say. But yeah, so these are what the beauty blenders looked like. Um, this one was the dry one, this one was the wet one. And I guess I just kind of maybe have to play around with it a little bit more. Maybe in the next one I should test out if it works like a brand new beauty blender and like apply my foundation and all that and then boom, like go ahead and test it out to see if it does work. So, hmm. I think that might have to be the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, I guess, the first ever beauty gimmick episode, question mark? I don't know. Let me know down below. I, like, accidentally hit my chin when I did that. <laughs> so let me, do let, me, uh, let, me, let me know down below what I should call this series. And if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. And also, don't forget to share. I am currently at 109 subscribers. Now, I did mention that when I do hit 200 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. So if you do want to be part of that giveaway, let's go ahead and go up to 200. And it's not going to be just at my 200 subscriber mark. It's going to be at my 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to watch next. And thanks for coming to the first beauty episode. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!